ladies and gentlemen, our semi-main event is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And now, to give the fighters their instructions, our referee, Dan Stell. This one, gentlemen, listen, obey my commands all times. Protect yourself all times. Touch gloves, come out the belt, and let them up. A lot of mutual respect out of both of these combatants. Tarzan Douglas in the solid black trunks. Tomas Dion in the black trunks with white trim and white lettering. This one's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Here we go. Wow, a heavy punch for David Douglas. Trying to take it right away. Comes over the top of that big overhand right. Both of these guys fit. Shredded. As you said, Dion with the question mark in the gas tank, though. Wow, he ran across the cage <laughs> to get a hold of that double. He's still trying to battle. Dion doing a great job of sprawling. If Dion is able to keep this on his feet, you guys are going to be really treated to a kicking exhibition. This guy has sent you championships in Europe. In Beijing, Iran, Romania, France. He's the ISKA Sanchu world champion. If he can keep it on his feet, you're going to really be treated to some, some wild kicks. Which is probably why you saw David Tarzan Douglas shoot from the other side of the cage. Dion's kicks work so well because he's so flexible through his hips. You saw that knee flap a couple of seconds ago. He's able to almost, it almost looks like dislocate his hip as he does his kicks and, and can come from any angle with him. David Douglas right now is just trying to hold on by keeping, a, keeping that leg pushed on to keep that knee from coming inside. The referee Dan Stell has been a very active referee, much to the delight of the fans here in Stockton. <sighs> Big overhand right. Stockton wants to see their uh, hometown hero get a bang out. Oh, good takedown, but it ends up underneath. Beautiful takedown defense from Tomas Dion. Sprawling and sprawling. Good position. Nice wizard turning his head, turning his hips, gets back to his feet. David Tarzan Douglas lists karate and boxing as his stand up discipline, but he's not wanted to engage. The Sanchu champion, Tomas Dion. Just, you know, how often do does a traditional MMA fighter step into the cage with a Sanchu stud? There's really no reason to get into a, that confusion. If you feel like you've got him on the ground, why even engage on your on Yeah, no, you know, that uh, big matchup, uh, uh, if you ever fight Kung Lee, that's one of the things you have to worry about, you know, is a big matchup against him is that he, Sancho, is, is the same as we're seeing right now with Thomas Dion's, where he's able to keep on his feet and, and beat you up with, with hands and feet. It's very dangerous. Tarzan shakes his head no, which means, yes, that hurt. <laughs> Switch kick there from Dion. That I love my... watching that kick. That hurt my forearms, thank you. <laughs> wow, just, just rushing in, not throwing a jab, not trying to offset him. Just, he's going to get caught with something bad coming in like that. In uh, the Trevino Dion fight. Oh! oh! Holy smokes! At three minutes and two seconds of the first round, Tomas Dion knocking out David Tarzan Douglas. What a stud! Wow! What a Amazing. stud! I mean, flexibility, movement, quick feet. You never saw it coming. And you can see Josh Thompson is so happy with his protege over at AKA. The head kick. I'll pay a lot of money to see that again. Yeah, that was an amazing spot. Wow. <laughs> Tomas Dion upping his record to three and three. And the two fights you and I have seen him in, we have a we have a tough time believing that he's just at 500 ball. I know it, it does, to me it doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't understand. Maybe he was sick or 
or the, the, I mean, even because even if a guy could get him to the ground, if they jump in and drop guard, he's so far sprawled out, he'd still be able to get up away from them. I don't know if, if, if in his last couple of fights he learned how to how to sprawl, and that's what the, the difference is. Ladies and gentlemen, our semi-main event comes to an end at three minutes and three seconds of round number one. He is the winner by way of knockout, Thomas Dion. All right, I'm here with Tomas Dion, and Tomas Dion, uh, you, you dominated Trevino in your last fight in San Jose with us. In this fight, the kicks even more exotic than the Trevino fight. Everything working for you. Are you happy with your performance? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm really happy. I want to say thank you to everybody. My lady first, a lot of support, my family, my cousins, my coaches, the best in the world, AKA, Thank you, Stockton. I'll be back soon. One thing Real fast, Tomas. Your thoughts on the finish, the head kick? Uh, I mean, I know I'm faster than a lot of people, so I know I could surprise him. I just threw it. It went through, so I'm really happy. Thank you. Tomas, you let your fighting do your talking, and that's just okay with us because we love watching you. One more time for Tomas Dion!